This is an introduction to the Unisource Fabric Stretch Machine. The first thing you'll need to do is hook up an air supply to the stretch machine. There are two regulators, which should each be set at 60 pounds per square inch. They should control the hand and foot mechanisms. The hand control raises and lowers the panel on the machine. The foot control is used to lock the fabric in place. Now you're ready to set up for your first panel. Measure both the height and width of the panel so you can select the proper size fabric bars. You'll need to select four bars for the stretch machine. Two marked with an H for the height and two marked with W for width. Select the bars needed and move them to the machine. Place the bars into the slides on the machine. One on the outside and one on the inside with the foam sides facing each other. Lock the bars in place with the pins supplied. There should be two pins for each bar. Pull the arms of the machine apart so that the bars don't hit each other as you're setting up. After all the bars are in place, move the bars together until the corners are almost touching. Now you're ready for paneling. Put your staple gun, pliers, and other tools in the tool tray on the top and the bottom of the machine. Put your fabric in place at the foot of the machine if you're going up the roll. Now place the panel in the center of the table. Drop the panel in place using your hand control. Spread the fabric out over the panel so it overlaps the bars and the head of the table by about an inch. Now tuck the fabric in between the bars. Pull it tight at the corners and lock the fabric in place. Don't worry about pinching your fingers. There is not enough pressure to hurt. Just pull the fabric in place and lock it with the foot pedal. Raise the panel with the hand control. This will stretch the fabric so you can staple. Each person staples one side and one end of the panel, starting at opposite corners, so they are not directly across from each other. Once all sides are stapled, cut off the excess fabric with your hot knife. Leave the panel in the up position so that the fabric falls away as you are cutting. Now release the foot pedal and pull the excess fabric out. Flip the panel and you're ready to cover the other side. Drop the panel in place. Spread the fabric over the panel overlapping the sidebar by about an inch. Use your fingers to tuck the fabric in. Pull down the corners. Lock it into place and staple. Cut with your hot knife. At the end of the roll, you'll need to trim it even with the roll so you can throw away the excess. Now the panel is ready to move to the assembly operation. First thing you need to do is prepare your hardware. Panel shell, hanger frames, connector blocks and screws should all be at the A frame table. Put a fabric covered panel on the top and you're ready to go. Match your hardware up preparing to assemble the side of the panel. Use a scrap piece of top cap to line the panel shell up to the top of the panel. You want it to be flush with the top cap and the sides of the panel. Hold it steady and put the screws in place. Screw holes are pre-drilled so they should go in easily. Drive the screws into the top and bottom blocks and every other hole in the hanger frame. Flip the panel and repeat the process. Make sure that the hanger frame is flush to the top cap. Now you need to put the base and power source onto the panel. One person handles this job, while the other puts the top cap on the previous panel. Put the top cap in place and hammer it firmly so that it is flush and even with the top of the panel. Use a wood block to help make the top cap flush. In the meantime, the other person is screwing the base into place and putting the power source on for a powered panel. After the person finishes putting on the top cap, the same person begins setting up the hardware for the next panel.
Once the base is complete, the panel is moved to the packing table. Put another panel into place on the A-frame and start with the trim process. The finished panel is bagged and put on a skid, prepared for packing for delivery. This video demonstrates the fundamental use of Unisource's fabric stretch and panel assembly process. If you have any further questions or problems, Unisource is here to help. Call us at 616-455-9400.